Hello everyone and happy February. Welcome to the unboxing of the Knit Box. My name is Kyle and each month we send out to our subscribers one of these boxes full of yarn and a pattern and treats and all kinds of goodies and stuff. So let's take a look and see what our February Knit Box had inside it, has inside it. There might be a few still. So if you're not a subscriber, you um, can check out our website. Just go to Knitbox, which is one of the um, listings on the top menu on our website. And you'll be able to see if there are any of these available still. If not, you can always sign up and start getting um, the boxes with the following month, whatever month you happen to be watching this. So um, if there are extras, like I said, we'll have those there. But then when those sell out, if there are any at all, then those will be gone. It costs a little more to buy the box once we tell you what's in it, um, but the subscription itself, it just goes month to month until you um, are ready to cancel. If you decide to cancel, you just send us an email or um, reach out to us, call us, whatever, and let us know and we can get you canceled. Otherwise, um, each month you'll get another box with some more goodies in it. So, okay, let's see what's in here. So inside the box each month, we have a little, um, punny joke, and this is something that Jonathan comes up with. They're, they're cute, they're funny, um, and they make me laugh. And this one um, has to do with birds. So um, I'll let you read that when you get your box. And then there is some considerate tissue paper. And oh, there's some, there's a little bird on there too. Look at that. So there are two of these little packages in here. Let's take a look and see what this is. So. Okay, so I like pretending that I don't know what this is. I know what it is. Um, so it's a, uh, a yarn, it's Lola. This is a yarn from Garn Manufacturer. Looks like it is a 100 gram four ply yarn. What else can I tell you about it? 50% um, cotton, 50% acrylic, and it's these different little strands of yarn that you're gonna hold together as you work. So there's one of them. And then let's see this other one here out. There's another one. So there's this one, which is a really beautiful, super deep blue. So you've got a tan yarn and a blue yarn. And that is the yarn you're going to use to make what? Ta-da! It's time for shadow knitting. So this is the uh, bird shawl. We had this designed with our friends at Garn Manufacture just for you. So um, there are a limited uh, few additional kits and then once these are gone, they'll be totally gone, gone. Um, the pattern itself, we printed this one in a larger format. So the paper opens up and the reason we did that, just to be extra kind, this is what the chart looks like. And um, you'll follow, you can follow the chart and the instructions on there. There's also written instructions row by row that tell you how to do this. Shadow knitting is super easy. Um, a whole bunch of others. So in the back of this, there's um, a suggestion that maybe you want to make other things that are shadow knit. So that is the pattern. This one happens to be printed only. There isn't a way to download this one um, because it um, it is for our friends at Garn. It's from them. So you'll get a little, um, come out of here. There is a little note <laughs> telling you that so that people know that the actual printed pattern is our pattern. We don't have a digital version this time. Also in here, if you've never done shadow knitting before, there is a little printout of our practice knitting page or shadow knitting page. So you can take whatever two colors of yarn you wanna work with and um, try those. Higher contrast yarns work best. You can follow these instructions, which um, explain how to, how to do shadow knitting. And there's also a video on our, um, on our YouTube channel that explains it also. Kim and I spent some time showing and demoing how to do um, shadow knitting so you can see that. Um, also in here is the brand new Magalog. So this is the Scassell Magalog. We did this um, a few months ago. So this is the one, uh, this is volume 11. So it's been a while since these came out, but we uh, had a great time doing a photo shoot with um, real people that are uh, actually knitters and crocheters and artists. There's little Ashley on the 
on the beach, which is kind of fun, wearing a really beautiful mosaic cardigan. There are a couple patterns in here as well. Information about the yarn and a really wonderful interview, uh, Q&A with designer Marie Green. So um, the Magalog is in this month's box, yay. Also in here is some highlighter tape. This is from Lee and it looks like we did blue for you. So this highlighter tape is a, a repositionable see-through tape so you can easily keep track of where you are on a chart. It works really well for the shadow knitting. So you can pull off that piece of tape and move it up and up and up. And then when it finally decides to stop being sticky enough for you, you can get another piece. You've got a whole roll here to, um, to keep you happy. And then the last stuff that's in here is two of these things are called sipping broths. There's two different ones. This is from Millie's. They are a uh, Washington based small business. And there's two different ones, Thai lemongrass and tomato basil. It's kind of like sipping a little um, soup. You know, just put this in the hot water and let these steep for a little bit and um, you get just a little tiny taste of soup, which is kind of lovely. So we thought that was fun, especially for February when many people are um, overwhelmed with lots of sweet treats. We thought we'd do something a little different, a little savory. So that's how we came up with, um, with our little treats. So that, my friends, is all the stuff I actually have the um, finished sample as well. So when you're looking at a shadow knitting, it's just sort of a series of lines and we get close, you can see, and there's like um, knits and pearls. You can kind of see there's part of the pattern. It's actually more visible in a camera than it is in, um, in real life. But if I hold it here and then I start to turn this at an angle, you start to see there's that bird. Isn't that cool? So the bird is there and then it sort of disappears. But when you're wearing this, it's just a bunch of stripes, which is really lovely. It's a very wearable um, secret that you can say, oh, look, I have a bird, you know, on my on my scarf, on my shawl. So that is the February Knit Box. Hopefully you're having fun making these pieces. We'll see you again in March with another fun collection of things um, that are designed to delight. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful month, everyone. I'll see you again in March. Bye.